Hello. In this video I want to show how SolidWorks Simulation does its file control. So I'll create a new part and I'll save it in a directory. So just uh, create a simple block for example like this. Uh, I'll save it in a directory and show which temporary file SolidWorks Simulation creates. Uh, so this is my extrude, simple, simple piece of plate. I'll save it in a directory as a name file control like this and now I'll create a new study static study and then do just a very simple basic analysis because we're not looking at the results in this case but at the file control of SolidWorks simulation so where SolidWorks simulation stores its files you can influence that by simulation options default options and then results here you see that SOLIDWORKS now stores the results in the SOLIDWORKS document folder, so where this file is. And you can change it to be always in a certain directory, which could be convenient if you, for example, want to uh, not calculate SOLIDWORKS simulations over a network. So you can just always store your simulation results, for example, on your own hard disk. And here you have an option to keep the temporary database files. So I'll show you in a minute what that does so just push ok over here it's now uh, the results are now stored when i calculate it in the SOLIDWORKS directory where the file where the file is stored so let's have a look this is a directory and this is all these uh, temporary database files so you see them all over here and this is what uh, what you could just now enter as an option uh, there's a lot of files here and when you uh, save the file and close it a lot of these files will be removed by SOLIDWORKS so I'll close this file and you see now only this these files are stored and this CWR file that's where all the results are in so if you if you look at the file it's quite big so it might be advisable for a very short simulation like this not to keep that so could for example just simply delete all of this then reopen the file and then SOLIDWORKS simulation will still be there so you just need to rerun it you see the oh, the whole setup of fixtures and forces is still there just I cannot look at the results right now because I've deleted the database file but since this simulation only runs for a couple of seconds it might be um, advisable to de delete the files if you have a, a less lack of disk space for example because this simulation as you can see over here it only ran for one second so not a real big issue to rerun this file in this case so now you can see what uh, what SOLIDWORKS simulation does with all these files and how it stores it on your disk so the the most important is this uh, CWR file where, where it's stored and all the simulation setup is saved in the part or in the assembly if you're calculating an assembly so that's what i wanted to show in this video thanks for watching